Hey, biology. Hey, freshmen. How are you doing? Welcome to your first online video through YouTube. So I'm here with uh, Mrs. Wilson and uh, we're going to start today with uh, Mrs. Wilson. All right, I'm going to share my screen. <clears throat> I guess we're going to start first with just an orientation. Um, to share with you really what online learning with Brentwood is going to look like each day. So on your screen right now, you see a list of just daily tasks. Um, this is what you should be able to expect. The key really is for you to continue every day to go through your RenWeb student account, find the day, and what this is what you should be able to see there. So each day you should be able to find a recording of a video lesson that Mrs. Mallet and I have prepared for you. And then um, as you're watching the lesson, make sure to save your questions because you'll then attend a question and answer session live on Zoom with us for that lesson. And that will be daily from two to 2.25 in the afternoon. Also with your lesson, um, you may have an assignment. So again, you'll just keep going back to RenWeb in your student account, go to the day's lesson, and you may find an assignment there that uh, a link will take you to Google Classroom. You'll find your assignment there, you'll complete your assignment, and then you'll resubmit it to us through Google Classroom also. Of course, this is really just like school and we'll have office hours as usual. So we'll, um, if you need help uh, beyond the question and answer session for the day, you're welcome to email either of us. Um, email your teacher to request an individual, uh, a few individual moments, and we'd be happy to set up some time with you either via email or perhaps via a live Zoom session. And we'll be doing that from 3.30 to 5 each evening. So um, email us if you feel that you need uh, a couple of minutes. All right, we're gonna go back to Mrs. Mallet now, and she's gonna share with you um, class materials and notes. All right, so let me share my screen with you and put it into PowerPoint mode. Okay, so we're gonna go through the materials that you need um, for each video session. Um, you're going to, hopefully you've got your notes from school, your spiral, or um, you know, whatever you had your notes in. Um, if you don't, it is what it is. You're just going to need to get some paper and make sure that you keep all of the information together. Okay. Um, just like normal, have your colored pens and your highlighters. And we will go through rem reminding you how to highlight and so on. So don't worry. Okay. So you are also going to, um, how to take notes. Um, again, my students, um, are used to me doing it a certain way. So I'm going to explain how, um, how again how it's done just to remind everybody we've been gone for three weeks so you never know okay so basically if it's repeated you should write it down um if it's written on what we consider the board um you should write it down okay so um eventually we might have something to write with but right now we're just kind of hey remember how to write notes hope you do we're counting on you and so again we will continue to tell you when and what to highlight with okay all right, so um, and the assignment, each and every time, you will need to take the notes. So it is a daily assignment in RenWeb, and uh, you will write them, and then you're going to take a photo of them and upload them to the Google Classroom each day. And remember, they are due before um, the Q&A session, okay? All right, so right now, we are going to go to a brain break. And so, hey, Mrs. Wilson. Yes, Mrs. Mallet. Hold on, I forgot to stop share, but we'll do it this way. Hello. So what do you call a monkey with a banana in his ear? I don't know. Anything you want because it can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the best we can do right now, guys. So a brain breaks, a brain break. So, all right, Mrs. Wilson, you're on. All right, I'm going to share. Oh no, Miss Mallet, you're going to share for us, mm -hmm. right? Yes. But I'll be talking. All right, we're going to start our lesson today with a really a review. 
because we've just got to warm up our brains and figure out really where we are in time and space before we get into some detail. So the last time we saw you guys, we left off finishing up mitosis. And mitosis is really just a form of cell division. You know, when new cells need to be made to perhaps replenish uh, the body or to perhaps help repair for an injury, cells have to divide. That's how new cells are made. So you learned about what most of our cells in our body do. Our body cells follow mitosis. And that's what you see scrolling on the screen there are these stages of mitosis. Everything that you learned about mitosis is going to help you with the next um, process of cell division that you're going to learn about now. Um, all prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, all those mechanics that you learned and the things that had to happen are going to happen in some form or fashion again as we move into meiosis to learn about this other type of cell division that some of our cells in our body do to make new cells. All right, I'm gonna hand you over to Mrs. Mallet, who will give you your lesson introduction. Okay, guys. So we're moving on to chapter 8B in meiosis. And so um, in your notes, so this is now the first thing you're gonna need for your notes, you're going to write um, chapter 8B at the top of those notes and meiosis. So make sure you write here. Now I realize you all can start and stop and so when I say it, or Mrs. Wilson says it, and we repeat it, it's in your notes, um, we know that you can back up. So we're going to be able to go a bit faster. We will pause, we'll repeat it, but I won't repeat it as many times as, say, in the classroom because, well, one, I can't see you and see if anyone needs it repeated. And two, um, I, we know you can pause it, okay? So after you've written Chapter 8B, Meiosis at the top, um, we're going to talk about a few things before we go on to the rest of the notes. So um, we're going to talk about first stem cells for a second. And so let me remind my students um, and, you know, make sure everyone is on the same page that, about stem cells. We're going to talk about stem cells a little bit more later on. So, but I'm going to remind you a few things. So in meiosis, we're going to be talking about egg and sperm. So these are the two cells that when they're unite, will make a, a new organism. So um, they are, have half the genetic information because you have, you know, your whole information, you move it with someone else's whole information. That's too many chromosomes and, you know, Everything goes wackadoo if that happens. And you know, some of you are wackadoo, but that's not why. So um, in egg and sperm, you've got half of them. And when they get together, they make a new organism. Um, so with stem cells, what happened is um, these are cells that all the genes are available to do whatever you, what, they can all be turned on. So remember, we talked about the fact that your hair cell can't, when it's going through mitosis, can all of a sudden get confused and start making liver cells. That's not what happens because even though every single cell in your body, the somatic cells have um, all the genes in them for everything. They've got the genes for your liver, they've got the genes for your kidney, but the hair cells have all those genes turned off except for the things for hair. And the liver cells have everything turned off except for liver. But in a stem cell, everything is on. And I can say, hey, become a heart. And so I could make a heart. And so we are leading into that place where you all, as you all get older, you're going to end up having to vote on some things that we do and can't maybe do with stem cells. So um, be ready for that. So in this part, there are two slides that I'm about to show you. So if you're in my class, and I know for some of you that are more skittish, look at it and go, oh, I don't like that slide. Look away, I will tell you when I move the slide and then go to the next slide and go, oh, okay, I can handle that one and then look at that one. Um, same thing with Mrs. Wilson's class. So if you're one of those kids that, you know, weird things kind of freak you out, just don't look at it and I'll tell you when we change the slide. So um, here we go. So I'm changing the slide. So you may wanna look at it and go, yep, just make sure you're listening. Okay. so. This first thing is one of the first things that we could do, or what not, well, it's a thing we can do. So what they did is they take stem cells and they took someone's um, genes to say, build an ear. Now, before I get that, we get this question a lot in the Q and A session, the mouse cannot hear out of that ear, 
okay? That ear is only the outside of the ear. The inner part of the ear that actually allows you to hear me right now is inside of your skull. So that's not what they built. They only built the outside of the ear. Why would they wanna do that? Well, um, when people climb mountains like the Mount Everest, Everest where it's really cold, um, the parts of your body that tend to get frostbite are your appendages or things that stick out, like your fingers, your toes, your nose, your ears. And so people were climbing and they, you know, frostbite would happen and they lose that part of their body. And, you know, just to be symmetrical, they really want, they feel normal, they wanted an ear. So they had a stem cell, told the gene to come on and built this ear that you can see that I'm circling with the, with the mouse. Um, and so they took it off the mouse, the mouse didn't die, and they put it on the person, okay? And so now they've got an outer part of the ear. But now, instead of just taking someone's random DNA and building an ear, because that wouldn't match this person's ear, we can now take your DNA and make the body part. So I'm about to change the slide again. So everyone will look and they go, I can handle that and look, or nope. Okay, so this next one, you can see that, yes, there's a nose on the guy's forehead, okay? And before you ask me again in the Q&A session, no, he cannot smell out of it, okay? It is, again, just the outer part of the nose. The inner working of the nose is inside the skull. So what they did is they took a stem cell with his DNA and said, build the outer part of the nose. And so this is what the outer part of his nose looked like when it was where it was supposed to be. So what they're going to do is they're going to remove what's remaining of his nose and then just kind of cut it and then turn it and place it. Okay. Or they may cut it off completely and place it. I don't know exactly how they did it, but I know that that nose got placed on him and it's his nose. So, you know, you'll see some scarring from where they had to cut it and place it, but it's his nose, which is really cool if you think about it. All right. So I'm going to change the slide. So those of you that are more squeamish, you can now look back. Okay. So we're going... That is what meiosis and stem cells, and now let's talk about how we make specific egg and sperm to eventually get to those stem cells. Okay, so we're now going to write in your notes, Roman numeral one, meiosis. So you're gonna see me look this way, it's because I'm looking at my notes, so just bear with me. Um, Roman numeral one, meiosis, open parentheses, making egg and sperm, close parentheses. Roman numeral one, meiosis, open parentheses, making egg and sperm, close parentheses. You're going to write capital A definitions underneath that, capital A definitions. And then you'll write number one, meiosis. Number one, meiosis, and meiosis is spelled on the screen here, M-E-I-O-S-I-S, -S. number one, meiosis. Now I've only got one point to make about this, so we're gonna put a star underneath that. So underneath meiosis, you're gonna write star and you're going to write making egg or sperm cells. Star, making egg or sperm cells, because that's what meiosis is. So we've written it, woo. All right, so let's go to number two, gametes. Number two, gamete, or gametes, either way, doesn't matter, gamete. And so again, I only have one point about this, and it's, so we're gonna write star, egg, or sperm cell egg or sperm cell. So meiosis is making it, gametes are what it's making. So gametes are what meiosis is making. So star, egg, or sperm cell. Okay, so we have reached our next brain break. So um, I'm going to take you to this brain break, which is this brain break is um, my cat's doing weird things. So this cat that you see on the screen is Shadow and he's sitting on our Roomba. And this is what happened. Now Shadow, if you don't know him, he's a scary cat. If you walked in my house, he'd freak out. So in a million years, I never thought he would ride the Roomba. But as you can see, even running into stuff, my cat rode the Roomba. Oh, he's really running into stuff. I cannot believe he sat there. And you can hear my children laughing. And there he goes. All right, so there's your brain break. Hopefully, I don't know, it was better than a joke or as good as a joke. I don't know. But either way, I'm going to send it over to um, Mrs. Wilson. Hi, back again. All right, let's keep building our vocabulary. <clears throat> the next number is three, and what you see on the screen is sperm. That's the next word. 
sperm. This is the male reproductive cell. So under sperm, please put star, and it is the male gamete, right? Male gamete. And now the female side, number four on the screen, the word ovum. Open parentheses, egg, close parentheses. Ovum, open parentheses, egg, close parentheses. And that's what we're looking at. We're looking at uh, an ovum is the female reproductive cell. So under ovum star should be female gamete, female gamete. And back to Mrs. Mallet. All right, guys, so we're moving on to the next part. So we're going to write number five, spermatogenesis. And you can see um, how to spell spermatogenesis at the top. And if we take the word apart, like we would in class, the sperm, their spermato is the sperm, the male um, sex cell. And then Genesis, we know from the Bible, Genesis is in the beginning or the creation of. So that's what this is. It's in the beginning of sperm or the creation of sperm. So um, this. Um, and this one, um, it's number five, spermatogenesis. I have two points, so I'm not going to do a star. So we're going to write A under spermatogenesis, little a, creation of sperm, little a, creation of sperm. Now I know what's on the um, video looks pretty complicated, so don't worry about that. We're going to go into it, it's be a little less complicated than what you see on the screen. So that's like some AP bio stuff, but it's okay. All right, B is meiosis for males, meiosis for males, meiosis for males. So as boys, um, the creation of sperm begins at puberty. All right, so B, meiosis for males. So let's move to the girl's side. This is number six, oogenesis, oogenesis. No, no one hasn't stepped on my foot. And I'm going, ooh, ooh, ooh. I just, it's oogenesis, I'm not oddly pronouncing that. So. It's oogenesis and oo means egg. So again, creation of the egg. So we're gonna write A, little a, creation of egg. Creation of egg. And then we're going to write B underneath A, meiosis for females. Meiosis for females. Now what's weird about this, where boys begin um, spermatogenesis at puberty, as girls, we've gone through about 70 to 75% of meiosis while you're still in the womb. You're not even born yet, and you've got all the eggs that you're going to have throughout your whole life inside you, ready. So they're, ha they're, they're a little, they're about 75% through meiosis, what we'll talk about, and then they stop. And it stops, and it won't start again um, unless something happens, and we'll get into that um, later, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna give you back over to Mrs. Wilson. All right, super, let's continue building. Let's put some symbology in your notes. So number seven, let's do the male symbology. Write male equals, and please put that symbol in. You see it starts with a circle and an arrow pointing to about two o'clock. So it's male equals, and that symbol, please. The symbol for female, number eight, female equals, and that is a circle with the plus sign below. Female equals the circle with the plus sign below attached. All right, great. I'm going to share with you now my screen. <clears throat> because I congratulate you. You have now completed watching the video for lesson day, Monday, March 30th, 2020. You watched this video and you took your notes. Good job.
Now make sure you hold on to your lessons, I, I'm sorry, your questions, because you'll be next attending a live question and answer Zoom session with us. That'll be at two o'clock p.m. on March 30th. <clears throat> Remember <clears throat> that your notes are due by this time. By the time we have the Q&A session, your notes should be uploaded to us um, via a photo through your Google Classroom before the Q&A session. Um, remember to refer back to RenWeb on this lesson day and you'll be able to find your link to your Google Classroom through there. All right, I think that's it for the day. Nice job. I'm gonna stop share because we're gonna sign off. All right, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later on today, guys. Bye.